Midsummer. Time slips. The midsummer sunrise stands still. Bonfires burn to warm the dying sun and kindle its guttering light to ripen the green barley and bring the harvest home. Fiery wheels roll down the hills like falling, fallen stars quenched in the river below to defy the devil. Time slips, the past is near, the future present. It is midsummer when the oak wears a crown of green and the villagers dance beneath the dappled shade of the summer's king. But even on the day of the oak king's triumph, the holly king is clad in burnished green. He can feel the chill in the summer heat, smell the rotting apples, hear the ice crack on the lake. Deep in the woods the sweet scent of honeysuckle pours like treacle from the hanging flowers. Even the elephant hawk moths are drunk with the sweetness of the nectar. Midnight. At the Rollright stones there is magic in the air. They say the fairies appear from a hole under the kingstone to dance in the moonlight and the locals circle the stones hand in hand. She has left me and wanders among the stones, a pale figure in the dark, Eve before the serpent stirred. She calls to her husband, she is yet to meet, and he answers from the shadows. Time slips, the kingstone is cut away to the core, he is old, he is forgetting now. Me, I hear my grandfather. He sits astride a shire horse, leading six more home to their stables, towards the flaming sun that is always setting. It falls into the night in a cloud of sparks, and still he rides, like some Celtic horse god reborn. Above Tyso, the rising sun is rolling along the hill, like the wheels of a chariot pulled by the red horse that gallops invisible, long buried under the green turf. Time slips, dreams awake, the heavy beetles buzz between the stems of the St. John's wort, their yellow flowers in the darkness mirroring the star-strewn skies. The bends in the river of time are close now. Figures flicker, voices crackle, a cold hand on your arm, a lover's voice, long dead. The hands of the church clock click backwards. The graves are empty, the coffins open. Time slips. Half light, the will o' the wisp, pollen fall, star fall, bird call. Tonight the corn crake rasps, the nightingale sings, echoes from fifty years ago, as the thistle down floats in the breathless air, and silver bells sound. This year a fallen pear tree casts a long shadow across the trenches and the digger tracks. Mattresses and car tires block the winding footpaths through the woods. The magic has gone. The evil spirits remain. They grow fat amongst the decay and the destruction. Hard it is to dance among the shopping trolleys, to feel the tidal pull of the ageless moon from the summit of a barrow built from the broken buildings and shattered sanitary ware. Still through the thunder of the traffic, under a concrete bridge, perched on a pram wheel, the quivering wren sings of summer and the longest day. <laughs>